Good morning, folks. This is one of those days when no matter how pretty you think solar eruptions are, you want those dark ropes to stay calm, stay cool, and most importantly, stay in their seats. The final direct Earth-facing danger from those eruptions passes within 24 to 36 hours. The lone eruption we had to witness came from the northeastern limb. Umbral magnetic fields interact and destabilize, breaking fields open and surging solar material out into space. This will not hit Earth. But a gamma ray burst did yesterday. We noted one streaming from Aquila early in the morning. Solar flaring? Still minuscule. Any uptick this weekend with Mercury coming in would be noticeable, and so would any major ramp up in sunspot activity. Right now, even the area with that CME has no spots to speak of. Just the one down south keeping away the all-quiet event. Three days of solar wind? Show that sector boundary from yesterday, the increased density readings today, electron flux still hiding under the covers but the lack of speedier particles at this time leaves our shield well able to handle the influx. The coronal hole up north is now departing. We've got a smaller extension from the south incoming next down there. Folks, if you're curious why Mercury is disappearing on SOHO as it comes in to conjoin the Sun, think of a new moon. As it passes between Earth and Sun, the dark side faces us and we lose the ability to see the reflected light. Same thing happens with the planets, another 36 to 48 hours there. Galapagos Islands. Those birds flew a long way to watch their new home start smoking from beneath their feet. Could be an Earth spot connection as well as the newest tropical storm warning comes just west of that, likely energized by the sector boundary incoming coronal stream, proton density, and gamma ray burst. Speaking of the tropics, NOAA is expecting a lighter Atlantic season once more and, again, a horrendous Pacific season. That means that the flood events seen in Arizona, Colorado, New Mexico, and Utah the last two years will happen again this year when the storms intrude the U.S. mainland. If you think that sounds fun, ask Texas and Oklahoma. It was eight days ago I reported the rain records in danger, and they fell almost as fast and continuously as the rain itself. The bad situation isn't over there just yet, as we'll see in a moment. It now includes major river concerns like here on the Arkansas. Top space news of the day is that a new mission to Europa will study its magnetic field and habitability via spectroscopy and other means. Details in a link for you below. But back to the weather. More heat, more moisture entering the already slammed area tonight. Gotta watch for tornadoes as well. Also up in New England, the convergence from a low that broke away will increase severe alerts to the northeast as well. In Europe. The story comes with a northern low descending onto land here and bringing a solid storm line on the convergence as well. Weather shares from England, Germany, and Norway are appreciated. Down under, it's still all about the southern low. Its northward push meets its convergence line still slicing through the center of Australia, and that is once again the focus for your overnight hours and into tomorrow. Remember folks, scroll down, click the links for more information. We've got the current conditions and shots of our star to close at 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.